This is a little instructional for making one of the pens I showed earlier. Um, I was rummaging around in my scrap metal box from when I make jewelry and I did find a 3.32 inch copper tube but it wasn't quite long enough to put in a pen. It's best if they're longer and they can fit up close into the deal up here that the cartridge fits into and you would take this off and measure the length of your tube the same as your cartridge and add about an inch and a quarter and then when you replace this with your tube you will put this back on the spring back on and then put it back in and it will hold it up tight against there and your um, tube won't be jiggly since I didn't have one that was long enough for a pen I decided to go ahead and make this video to show you how to bend the tubing without breaking it and what I did is I found a wood crochet hook cut it in half and drilled a hole in the end with a drill 332 inch drill the same size as the tube and that is enough you know when you pound that tube in there it's enough to keep it from turning or anything but in order to bend one you have to anneal it and oh hold on just a second I gotta go get a lighter I've got a little butane torch that I use but it can be done with a lighter pull this up a little bit But how you anneal metal is you put fire to it right about where you want to bend it. And you hold it there until the metal turns a bright red. That will soften the metal. And a lot of people when they're torching they'll put it clear up here like this that is the coolest part of the flame the hottest part of the flame is right where that blue or red ends and so you want to put that right where you want it to get hot and you can see it's starting to get red and when that gets bright red, be sure you hold on to something because these pipes do get hot. And then you can take and bend it in whatever shape you want. And some, the first one I did, I bent it about like that. And it just, it was comfortable in my hand, but it just didn't do the job that I wanted it to. So I bent it just a little bit more. And that way, when it goes down, it's flush with the natural level of my hand. It's flush with the drills when I pick them up. And then another thing I did, let it cool because those stay hot for a long time. As I anneal the end 
just a little bit. If that light works better or not. Then I took a knife and just went around the edge. That flanges, makes a little bit of a flare. on the end of the the tube and it helps pick up the diamonds when you put the stuff in and there is that one and I have gotten some other tubes ordered I ordered them from Hobby Lobby and when they get in I will show you how to make one with a pen. These pens are nice because the hole in the end of that, the end of this pen is the same size as the tubing, so it makes it real secure. I hope that helps and if you, anybody tries to, decides to try this and has trouble, let me know and I'll see what I can do to help you out. And in time, I may make a bunch of these and sell them. I don't know yet. Depends on if I have the time or not. Thanks for watching.